who's ready for another day in the life vlog. My name is Matt, I'm a junior doctor working in London and today I'm going to be taking you through my typical day visiting patients at home, working with the rest of the team and making multiple cups of tea and eating lots of pastries. I'm super excited to be sharing this with you guys. Just one quick note before I start is that any patient details I used have been anonymized and this is just because of confidentiality issues but I've tried to keep it as realistic as possible. So without further ado, hope you enjoy and feel free to leave any comments that you might have down below. I work with the Hospital at Home team, which is a fantastic service providing hospital care to patients in their own homes. It's a super vibrant group of people who are really, really lovely. And after I put down my bags and boot my computer, I go make myself a hot cup of tea, an essential in a day in community medicine. I then begin writing my notes for the day, preparing the patient I'll be seeing and the rest of those that I need to review. just walking in the corridor and I thought I would show you guys around the place. This is our beverage room and this is where all the magic happens. Make multiple cups of tea here and coffee. The essentials and then we got the equipment room so the storeroom. So these are the doctor's bags that we have and they are the ones that we take to patients home and they're big chunky boys it's like we're going on holiday i mean look at them they have everything that we need to see patients with and we bring them to their homes and they have things such as observations kits to see blood pressure and heart rate and saturations they have fluids and dressings to make sure that we can do anything for patients that we need to do and also just fluids and drugs and medications and various sorts and swabs and test kits and everything just to make sure that if any eventualities happen when we're seeing the patient that we are fully covered and they are basically just massive luggage suitcase styles except when I carry them around I don't feel like I'm going on holiday unfortunately that's not happening anytime soon yeah that is our home visiting kit and as you can see i'll just do a quick sweep there's drugs there's bags there's equipment of other sorts i spend a bit of time packing my bag to make sure that i have all the things that i need grabbing my kit i head out the door because my colleagues are waiting outside so it's time to go Hey guys, so just arrived at the patient's home, just got driven here by the service hospital's car. Um, I've got a bunch of stuff on my neck, so I've got my stethoscope here to bring in to see the patient. My name badge for identification. If you look at this SOS sign, I don't know if you guys can see that here. Um, and this is actually just to protect the safety of staff and everyone that does a home visit actually carries one around But essentially what this does is if we're ever in any dangerous situations or we feel threatened by the patient We can just press this SOS button Someone will then be able to come uh, listen in and we can speak out to say if we need any help and they'll be able to send any help I will see you guys on the other side and let you know how it goes A few moments later Hey guys, just finished off seeing that patient in their home. Uh, I was in there for about half an hour just speaking to him. I examined him and just came up with a plan in terms of his medications. But I think what I'll do is I'll go back to base and I'll speak to you a bit more about what exactly happened and what we do. As a doctor or even a healthcare professional, I think that it's really nice that we get to see these patients in the comforts of their own home and see what their real life situations are and how we can really make a difference in terms of the small things. It provides a really different level of care from the hospitals and other places that you see patients. And I'm really grateful for this experience to be able to do this. So just gonna head back to base now I think, just meeting my colleague in a little bit, we're gonna drive back, gonna get some lunch and I will tell you guys about the case and a bit more about what we do in a little bit. Okay, so we're going for lunch. We got Anissa over here. <laughs> and just doing our daily trip to the good old co-op where we're just gonna probably get a meal deal, maybe pick up one or two things for the team. And the donuts. And the donuts. Daily selection today.
I pick up some food and some snacks for the rest of the team before heading back to the office and going down to the kitchen to meet everyone else and eat. What do you have? Some random pastry I've ordered for the show. My um, outside. Basically, this is a lunch room. No, this is where everyone chills. Uh, this, is <laughs> this is where the magic happens. Is it good? It's actually pretty good. I'm just not sure what I'm eating. Mm. It's like kind of mushy, kind of chickeny. Kind of. Can I get a zoom in on the inside? No. Yeah. There you go. So I've just come back from my home visit. We went to see the patient. I examined him, asked him a few questions. One thing you can't do when you're working in a hospital as a healthcare professional is see the patient in their own environment and what they're really like in real life or how their illness is really affecting them. Obviously, it's really easy to see and assume in the hospital when they're really ill that they have this condition and these blood tests show this and that. But that's not the whole story. Patients spend barely any of their time in the hospital and when it comes to things like patients day-to-day -day living and quality of life, how they are at home where they spend the most of their time is the most important thing. For me, this is a really great learning experience as a junior doctor as well. And yeah, it's been good. So we are just going to go get some lunch now and then I'm going to finish off some tasks and touch base with my team just to make sure all the other jobs and all the patients are okay and all the jobs are sorted. After lunch, we bring up the pastries we bought to share with the rest of the team. And of course, if I'm having jam donuts, I'm going to need to have a coffee with it. So off I go to make one before sitting down and spending the rest of the afternoon writing my notes and finishing my jobs with the usual shenanigans and spirit. Christmas already, guys? <laughs> yes, it is. We're just spreading them out. At around 5 o'clock, we start to wrap things up and I head home to enjoy my evening. So I hope this video gave you a better idea of what it's like to be a community doctor and visit patients at home and I hope you enjoyed this video. I have another one coming out next week and I'm super excited for you guys to meet the team and to talk about why I think community medicine is so interesting and why you should do community medicine. So make sure you press the subscribe button so you can see when that comes out. But for now, that's it and I will see you guys in the next video.